well, Brent, I would be upset too if I lost the challenge because, well, I know how Brent is with me and both of us hate losing to one another. So I'm sure he's not very happy about this, but he did give himself a horrible situation because had he challenged me to find lines before him, I would have never taken the challenge and probably would have lost just as quickly as what Brent has this afternoon. But isn't this exciting that we've got one of my favorite cats in the whole world, Little Tumba, who's not so little anymore. He looks massive on that termite mound. He looks much bigger than at first. I thought it was Hosanna when I got here, but he's definitely grown. He seems like he's got a little full belly as well, but unmistakable, those greenish colored eyes and that big pink nose that he's got. So there we go. Isn't he looking fantastic? Now, Brent wants to know whether or not we found Tumbo or if we were called into the sighting. Well, Brent, we were called in but only because we were about 100 meters from where the leopard was and somebody else got here before we did so we ended up kind of finding it together but I'll give it to Brent we did get told that it was here but we were on our way to twin dams so we would have found him eventually had nobody else come here before us Tundi has been seen with Hosanna and has been mating and has been all over the place and so I wonder if now little Tumba is off on his own and wouldn't it be fantastic if he spent the majority of his time down in the southern section, little Hasana in the central areas. Oh, and a big yawn. Isn't that magnificent? He looks so regal on top of that mound at the moment and I suppose it is a overcast grey bed weather day so sitting on top and having a bit of a rest like that is absolutely perfect. But I'm sure many of you are as excited as I am to see Tumba. I don't know when the last time he was actually seen. I think it was still when Ali and Taylor were here before they went on leave. I'm not sure if he's been seen since then, but I can tell you now, since the last time I've seen him, he's grown massively. He looks huge up there, much bigger than I would have expected him to look. It might be because I also haven't been around for the last few days, and you kind of forget just how big these cats can be. But judging by his legs and just his body, he definitely has grown a little bit. Now Brent is saying that he found the lions all by himself. Well, Brent, it's not hard when there's about 40 million lions in the Masai Mara and there's not a, really too many obstructions. At least here we have to use tracking and varying other things to find things. So, well, and anyway, James found lions before you did anyway. So we'll take our leopard win and we'll have to have another challenge at another stage. But while we enjoy our male leopard lounging on his mound. Let's go back to James, who actually is the real champion of today because he found cats before all of us. Well, I think I'm going to hand that straight back.